Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to pass our tags from command line and also how we can able to run for tag based scenarios. Okay. What is tags means like uh, previous video I have showed that how we can able to run our uh, scripts, right? If you are providing for NP, NPM test, automatically it will run for your script automatically, right? Means all the scripts it will run. So, but I don't want to execute for all the things. Whenever my build, like first build it is going to hitting, then I want to run only for that specific one, like a smoke test. I want to do the smoke test while it is dev team, they are going to commit their code into a test environment. I want to run some couple of things, okay? And for that, how, one minute. And we can, uh, like, I want to run that specific smoke test I want to run in my pipeline. That moment we can't say like all the scripts to execute, right? By using this command. But that specific time we can do it for by using for tags. Okay, here we can able to use for other it a smoke. This is one tag. Okay. The tag starts with other it symbol. Okay. After that, you can use for any kind of okay. And another feature it is presented, we can specify here one is. A regression okay and here it is smoke the red smoke again okay these are the two tags i have it okay now if i want to run how we can run this particular specific things right we can go to our uh, cucumber.json config location okay in this format section you can top right and here we can top or any place you can use it. There is no limitation, okay? And we can use for double quotation and tags, okay? In this tags, we can specify colon and then we can specify my at the rate smoke. At the rate smoke tag, okay? This indicate for your tag name, okay? Now I'm saving this one, okay? If I run now, now basically whenever you run for NPM test, automatically it will run for three scenarios. Okay. Now we are test environment and test results. No issues in the final it will generate for test result one. See now, two scenarios seated, one scenario got failed and one scenario got passed and two steps got skipped, okay? And if you go for here, our location and results and the input text box, so input report, something happen again this one, okay? We'll see later. And see, you can see here one scenario login page validation okay and here it is failed and again you can see for here login scenarios login one feature and login scenarios basically login dot feature we have for two scenarios right but we have only one even we can see for some this one right <clears throat> but we have for two but one got failed uh, and here is smoke tag okay and if you click for this one as well, and you can come back and you can see there's another smoke tag. Okay, like this we can do. And question again, how we can able to pass this one? Uh, here we are passed here directly here, tags and smoke. Every time we need to commit the code. That's not a good practice, right? That's not a good practice. Then how we can able to resolve this kind of issues? For this, we can create for one particular uh, file called config folder. 
in our test or SRC, any place is okay, but most of the time test is the best place, okay? And here test location, I'm going to specify for config folder, config folder, okay? In this config folder, I'm going to create in for, there is a one new file that is called a cucumber dot js dot js okay this is the file i'm going to keep it okay now here i'll mention here we can uh, uh, do for module dot exports and equal to and to curly braces okay and go to our cucumber location uh, you can copy that entire things okay and you can paste it for here Okay, now you can see everything I pasted here. Okay, now basically this is just the naming convention. Everything is same. You can see here that JS and this is JS. That's it. Okay, and you can go ahead here and you can control plus D. Okay, it will select for. <laughs> and backspace and colon home and end is not coming as expected And you can control this shit. Control this automatically it is increasing. Control D shit. It is basically need to be removed, but it's not working as expected. The commands to deleting. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can use it. Control D. Oh, he is going for home directly. We'll remove that. This particular tags. So double double quotations. Okay. It will give you for proper P and pair uh, value case okay but if you make that double quotation also there is no issue okay most of the time it will work as expected without any issue only tags we need to specify we need to remove and that single uh, uh, thing which we are using right that is not working shortcut one Last time I tried, it is working. Now it is not working. We'll remove first and try to remove first. It is taking more time, sorry. And parallel also we can. Okay. Now we removed and we kept everything ready. Okay. Now here there is here it is there, right? And here we can change for small thing. Okay. And that is the process dot env okay a dot and we have for n pm npm npm underscore config underscore tags underscore tags 
And if you are not specify any tags, it will automatically it will fetch for uh, all the tags. Okay, this is the case. Okay, now you can try and hit for this particular specific things whether it will work out or not. I am going to use for my terminal again. Okay, now here npx test and space iphone iphone tags equal to at the rate a smoke at the rate smoke if it is I will go double quotation inside we'll try now we can see only smoke it will execute or it will execute for all the tags now smoke tag it is work tags okay see again two scenarios one is we are expecting to fail itself because we given for wrong password okay that's why it will execute for you can see only for smoke tags only it is working smoke and if you expand this also smoke tag itself okay as expected, we are able to run for command line also. Okay. If you want to, maybe you'll get for one more question. Can I pass my browser configuration from the command line? Yes, we can pass it. This npm config tags is basically node uh, JSON based upon the tags. It will go on ready. Okay. And we are passing from uh, the hooks invoke browser and the invoke browser is basically a process environment browser this is basically it is the environment file location which we are using from uh, this environment file dot environment dot test okay in case if you want prod or if you want the stage you can create one more file dot env dot stage okay this file it is indicated for stage related. If you want prod, you can again you can create for one more file called dot env dot prod. Okay, these are three different environments. Okay, it will work as expected without any issue. But when you are passing from the command, okay, based upon that, if we use here, it is now you can see right. Now I'm removing the dot as well. Okay. Now I mentioned for this particular thing. Okay. And here we can see now iPhone, iPhone browser, iPhone, iPhone browser, all are capital letters equal to now I'm going to use for Firefox. Firefox. Now my, sorry. In double quotation, it will accept or not. You see, not mention my double quotation. Yes, see, now it is heated, but uh, it is not open as expected. Oh, shit, empty browser is open. But Firefox, it is heated, but it is not able to read the properly. The two Firefox browsers are heated. It's a multiple browser nightmare as it is opening, but no issue to get to fill, but it is open for Firefox. Right? Like this, even we can able to hit for web beta also. Okay. Like this, we can able to work for our cases. Okay. I hope it this information helpful for you. Uh, thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.